So, if you're watching this live or pre-recorded, uh, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that donation link in the description box below, if you're able to. It's greatly appreciated. Hello everybody, what's up Kanto Animations, D, Zelda, which D is Natsumi. So, we've got eight minutes until this thing begins. You said you effed up that intro? How did I mess up that intro? You shush. I don't have time for your nonsense. What's up, Ramsey? You said like always because your content so Listen, all I hear is a bunch of b BS, okay? Anyways, bologna sandwiches. Anyways, Nintendo Direct. 40 minutes long. Okay. It will have... Luigi's Mansion 3. It will have Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And I'm sure they'll show something about Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC at the end. You said it. My mood is better now unless I see BS on here. Oh boy. But yes. Tell everybody that the stream is now. The Nintendo Direct is in a few minutes. It's at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's 5.54 right now. You said Bayonetta. Who knows what it will be. What's up, Riley? Hopefully you're doing well, my dude. Mm. 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 It's very calm right now. You said my fan base is coming for Pokemon. You said F Smash, to be honest. I feel like that at times. I understand your frustration. Yeah, they announced Bayonetta 3 like a hot minute ago, right? But yes, the Breath of the Wild music. It works perfectly. So, do you guys think they're gonna show off anything else? Let me lower the music a bit. You think they're gonna show anything else other than Smash Bros. 
Pokemon and Luigi's Mansion? I don't know. I highly doubt they're going to be talking about Breath of the Wild. That's like, a, that'd be like a dream come true for people. I don't see it happening. Let me check my phone. Okay. You said that dude better not eat me again. Oh, here we go. Jesus. What's up, jerk chicken? How you doing? You said that new Metroid? That new Metroid's gonna take like another two years to make at the rate they're going with that damn game. Metroid. They started the whole production over with that damn game. That thing gonna take a while. You said that person from Portal. You said Hilda. Who knows what's gonna happen. Who knows? We've got four more minutes until this thing starts. What I'll do is switch to this. Boom. Oh my god. I'm already on the, the live stream because it's not a video. It's a live stream that we're going to have to watch. So hopefully it, the live stream doesn't mess up because there's a lot of people watching this thing. So we'll see. There's like 100,000 people on this thing last time I checked. Let me see. 200,000 people. This live stream totally won't mess up. Totally. We'll see. You said four more minutes to get the hype in here? Listen, I'll be hyped when I see something good. Yeah, they started just making Breath of the Wild 2, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a while, dude. That's gonna be a while. You said your phone's at 1%? That's a big oof. You gotta find that charger. If you're just coming into the stream, please do hit the like button. We're gonna see what this Nintendo Direct's all about. Let's see if it's worth it. See if this thing's good. But yeah. Tune in for roughly 40 minutes of information focused on 2019 Nintendo Switch games, including Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield and Luigi's Mansion 3. Oh boy. I imagine Monster Hunter Iceborne for Switch. Well, that Monster Hunter would have to be on the Switch in general, like Monster Hunter World. But yeah, I already got Monster Hunter Iceborne pre-ordered. I'm ready for that on Friday. Should be fun. What's up, Noel? How you doing, my dude? We've got three more minutes left until this direct begins. If you could hit that like button, hit that like button. If you're able to donate, anything helps. I just don't have the donation bar up right now, but if I turn it on for a second, boom. You see the Legend is out of Clink's Awakening, 16 days to go. And if we get the donation fund all the way up, I will wear a Clink outfit on stream. It's true. It's very true. Now back to business. You said you you kind of lost your appetite. Oh my god, this is booming in my ears, dude. Um, why are you in a bad mood? And then why did you lose your appetite? And you said you're doing good. That's good. Yeah, let's try to get the stream to at least ten likes. That'd be cool. Two more minutos, dude. Two more minutes. What's up, Liv? How you doing? You just got into the stream just in time. One minute left until this begins. I'm playing the music, by the way. It's not Nintendo. Nintendo's not playing any music, so you're welcome for the music. Such a good song. Wow. You said you're good, you're supposed to be doing homework, but you're playing with your pet cat. I go lad. Alright chat, here we go. Less than a minute to go until this begins. Let's see what they got for us. Come on, start. Once it hits six, I'm turning off the music.
All right. Where's this damn thing at? It hits six o'clock. Here, oh, here we go, right into it, okay. Shoot, let's see it. Turn this volume up a little bit. Oh boy, chat, will you look at that. Nintendo Direct, September 4th, 2019. You're welcome. Not actual gameplay footage. What is this, Overwatch? Are they bringing Overwatch to the Nintendo Switch? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Holy sh- It's like- Oh my god, chat! Oh, let me start flipping sh- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No. Oh my god! Overwatch on the Switch. I don't even play the game, but I'm gonna act like I'm a hype. Let me put myself in a clickbait thumbnail. Somebody screenshot this. <laughs> For the people that like Overwatch, they'll love this. I don't play Overwatch though. <laughs> it's fine. Well, what's up, Apple boy? I haven't seen you in a hot minute, dude. Overwatch on the Switch. This is already better than E3, baby. It available October 15th. Now you could break your Nintendo Switch because you get mad at the game. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Okay. Hello. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. Oh my god. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. Holy moly! All right, let's get it. Yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case really? in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a <laughs> what the heck, themed dude? restaurant. That's cool. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. What With the? Only one Nintendo Switch How, they think we're made out of money? How many Joy Cons out. is that? That's like eight. See which team can defeat well, actually, I mean, that's only two controllers. Collect the most coins by piloting general, floaties like... with the Poltergeist G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Um, I'm getting that, yeah. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. What? The combined forces of Kirby, Kirby, Did they say Kirby free? and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. What? A Take free a game? In town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, Get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. Uh. You can play alone, okay. together on one system, <clears throat> team up via local wireless, or even play online. He <laughs> said a Joy-Con costs 80 bucks, by the way. Big freaking oof. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Woo! And remember, it's free to start too. Free to start? What else you play? Like two levels? This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. Trials of Mana. After 25 years, fans of the Mana Woo. series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy. Never Trials played of this. Mana. Never heard of this. From six different um. characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you Damn, she got it. To dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not I'm trying to keep my money. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, 
or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, the characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the hmm. wheels of fate are This looks like Dragon Quest. Find Trials of Mana. April 24th? Trials of Mana. 2020? Why am I seeing this right now? Get that out of my face. What is this? What happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The My eyes. In 1803. Oh, this is Only a game that would give me a headache. Later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, <laughs> you must check. board the ship and Whoa. uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Whoa. Your analysis oh, my eyes. I can't. On one less than oh, my eyes. This is too much. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Oh my god, there's too many Without dots. You, the true tale will never be told. Oh my god, my eyes. I can't, I can't. Into I for real can't. I'm like, uh -uh. Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. That game looks like a migraine, dude. Turn of the Oberdin arrives no, on Nintendo Switch don't even ever mention that game to me again in my life. Get it away from me. <laughs> you can chat. There's a small town Plants out there zombies. with a big <laughs> secret. What the heck is this? Okay. Oh, this is Never made by Game town. Freak. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town. Wait a minute. The castle protecting it. Wait a minute. They're not slick. This looks One day, This looks like Pokemon Sword and Shield sort of. Giant monster. To defend the townspeople. We using their damn maps. We'll stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost Ew, all the music look in the at game was nose. composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Little town hero will nah, make that, a stand that, that, that place looked like October freaking 16. Pokemon Sword and Shield, man. Game Freak thought they were slick. The game later today. I'm good, love and joy. Okay. What else we got? Fall oh, here we go. To Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Ultimate. Everybody's about to just spaz out in chat, I bet. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. What's the date? Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah. And the release date is today. What? After today's Nintendo Direct, huh? broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's huh? character, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right no! now. No! That means I gotta play this I today! Until the release of M. Kazooie, please check it out. <clears throat> I'm okay, chat. I just had to get that out of my system. Damn. Now I gotta play that damn game today. Son of a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. SNK. Here we go. The moment you guys have been waiting for. Your Smash DLC character. You are... Yep, here we go. Here we go. And the character is... Huh? Huh? Let the baby girl get it, please. Give it to the baby girl. Please. Oh, man. 
Um, how hard is it to grab a? <laughs> how hard is it to grab a letter, dude? Now we got a stream smash today because Banjo Kazoo and Kazooie is coming out. Fantastic, though. Oh my god, let's see who picked it up. Hey, come on! Terry faces the fury. Now in development. Fatal fear. No, November 2019. I don't know who Terry is, but okay. Also, if you haven't hit the like so, button on the stream, please be sure to. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. What's can there okay. really be only one left? Yeah. A special announcement. What? More DLC We're fighters? To confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Son of a! <clears throat> now I gotta buy more, spend more money on this game. <clears throat> Great, they're gonna have a fighter pack so, too. What do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Very freaking good. Well, Banjo and Kazooie comes out today. Windfish in the Fan, Legend of Fan, Zelda: Link's Awakening. Clink! It's Which clink time. The okay. Next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. My boy Clink. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon. You can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Mm. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. Mm. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible Oh, those amiibos, figure, they look nice. Oh man. The Legend of Zelda series. <gasps> These all that cost way, too much money, play. damn it. <laughs> Be ready. The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link We need them donations, man. That same day. <laughs> <clears throat> You know the hero's might from Super Ooh, Dragon Smash Quest. Yes. Ultimate. Yes. Now, I want I want to get this game right here. Show Dragon me the Quest game. 11S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. Mhm. Mm the most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Nah, I want Travel HD graphics. I don't want 2D. Give me the HD graphics. Experience new character focused stories. And some baby girls wearing some bunny outfits the game launches free downloadable content can be found in the champions pack including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members an rpg giant draws near i'm gonna have to start tap dancing for some money chat i swear age definitive edition you gotta be kidding me man september, september. <laughs> that comes out a week after clink's awakening until then you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on nintendo eShop. oh boy yeah, it looks like I'm about to be a Smash tuber. Freaking so much DLC coming out for Smash, dude. All right, what else they got? Pokemon? For Not yet. Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo. The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa. All them weebs out there, they loving this right now. Who suck it out of people. <clears throat> You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Whoa. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles. The heck is this? Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And... In the Nintendo this is Switch too version, much. there's a new this song that too wasn't included me. in the original. <laughs> this is too much Be for sure me. to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Who? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore. Anyways, on let's January get to 17. back to what I was saying. Banjo and Kazooie is coming out today. 
so I have to stream Smash Ultimate. And then there's more Welcome DLC back. coming out Quite after this DLC pack. Seems. That's the news. Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent yeah. Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an In old fact, serial killer she... case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years oh. ago. Excuse me? Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. Exactly. Like the journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. You and said now York is Uggles. <laughs> the original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins. Oh, th that's a game today. that came out a long time ago, huh? Interesting. What does Nintendo think? We're made out of freaking money, dude? Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. See, they have to throw this filler stuff at us right now. Just throw it at me. It was an under the radar type of game. Mm -hmm. I see. Is it a Halo Infinite on the Switch? You 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 dreaming big, huh? You dreaming really big. And now for a message from Bethesda. Ah, screw Bethesda. Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software. I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo don't, Switch. Don't think I forgot soon. about E3 with sure your fake fans cheering. Memories of spending I didn't forget about that. Your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Oh my, Gary's gonna For freaking the lose his, since his mind with this. In Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. You said you forgot or about the fake cheering? Nah, I didn't. That Bethesda E3 conference had fake people cheering. Popular shooter franchises in history. <laughs> Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. What's introducing this? a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue oh boy. Company. To most what is of this? the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized the bootleg X Force to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons. Your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which hmm. can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. How's it going? I'm doing Next, great. The new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Talk to me. We have more information to share Talk that to will me. shed new light on this next Pokemon. Talk to me. Adventure. Talk to me Please about Pokemon. Talk to me. Pokemon Battle Royale. Totally. Let's do it. Pokemon Sword right, and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. This better not look like it's on a damn 3DS. Where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them You'll encounter new Pokémon and meet new people throughout Pokemon. your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Oh boy. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves.
Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, mm. don't you think? They want me to look like an alpha male. Second, Pokemon Camp. Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. What is this, daycare? And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. You steal their Pokemon. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. What? Pokemon yeah. Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. Whoa! How your curry turns out and what type it is. I gotta cook in this game now? Which berries and other ingredients you use. Did you not see me cook in Breath of the Wild? Not I burnt all my food. You put into it. Sausages. There are more than 100 types. Damn! And so, each one you cook up will be registered. So what? In your all they eat over here is curry. The goal to master the art of curry, huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is a damn teapot. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware, at hotels, and restaurants. That's disgusting. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. What the? These ghost type Pokemon. What type of kinky stuff is that? Called weak armor. Next, That's another disgusting. new Pokemon called Cramorant. Moit, <laughs> moit, moit, moit. And water type Pokemon has a huge appetite. Jeez. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. Pause. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the Damn. catch in its mouth. This if thing gargling some this fish, day, dude. It'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Damn. And that's all we have to share with you today. Why? Wow, that's Pokemon it. Pokemon Sword and Come Pokemon on. Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Okay, cool. I'll be there. What's up, Tyler? Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online membership. You about to give me some good service? With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Free games? It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. That's a long name. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games for free? on Nintendo Switch. There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Damn. So I could suck at a game and just rewind. Huh. Here are the first games we plan Star to Star Fox, Kirby's Dream Land, Super Mario, Yoshi, Mario Kart. All 20 Jesus. of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. The Legend of Zelda, a clink to the past. Of course, oh. we will eventually add more to the lineup. Ah. Oh. This can... offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so ah. please enjoy them at no additional charge. Ah. Oh. You noticed this, did you? Yeah, you can to buy To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online of course. exclusive controller of as course. a special offer. I'm not made out of to money. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES thirty dollars will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, I don't want your damn controller. Nintendo Switch headlines. 
No, no, get Tetris 99 away from me. I streamed that game once, and I suck. The large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? No. Well, good luck. I can't. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. What is this, Fortnite? By clearing I, can, I suck at Tetris, don't talk to me. You can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. Screw Tetris 99! Including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual Screw that membership damn game. will be available September 6th. I don't want it. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Mario Tokyo. and Sonic Tokyo Mario Olympic Sonic Games. Let's the get the Olympic release date. has become a Ooh. tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events. I sucked at these the games. 100 meter, karate, yeah, that's what football, I'm gonna just do. Just beat up Sonic. Skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check yeah, Mario, let's lose some pounds. Style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games November Tokyo 5th. 2020 will go for the gold. November Another 5th. game that I'm probably going to get. How many games are... Man, listen, I'm going to need to get my YouTube the check and my Twitch check soon, dude. Will be here sooner than you think. Too many games. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a feel. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game, and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends, and make the like bosses the feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be yeah, ready for yeah. They they were they were pushing that game right there. Um, you said yeah. I'm gonna be br I'm gonna be poor by the time these games come out. I'm gonna be like spare change. So fun, it's back for more. Star Wars? Huh? Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. What the heck? Get dude? your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to. This game looks like a damn mess. Courtesy oh, of Aspire. The full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight Whoa. 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia. Oh God, it's so player. blurry. Your current contract: tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go when the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions Just are along smack for the that ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC huh. and new I zoned like out for a sec. They said the Assassin's Creed. I think that was about to put Nintendo me to sleep for a second. Assassin's I don't know. Creed, the Rebel Collection. Assassin's Creed. Battle for survival. If I want to take a nap. Frontier in the online. <laughs> <laughs> the Witcher 3 RPG Blurry Comics. Edition. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge uh. your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. 
As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Uh, this is this, this is hilarious. More games are on the way. I don't have the money for this. Oh, this is where they just show a bunch of games that I'll never buy, right? Just Dance 2020. Oh my God, chat. Let me break it down real quick. Oh my God. Yeah, let me get hit with 50 copyright claims and never be able to stream again. Actually, never mind. No, no, mute this music. Wait a minute. What if this hits me with a copyright claim? Get this music out of here. Never mind. No, no, I'm not letting that music play for 30 seconds, chat. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm too smart at this point. NBA 2K20. What a joke. Um, listen. I ain't got time for that, chat. <laughs> listen. I've done too many damn streams where they play some foo-foo music, and you know what happens? I get hit with a copyright claim. I'm trying to get these pennies thrown at me, okay? So, one day I'll get that YouTube check. So, is this music still playing? Nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Um, you said Monster Hunter clone. You want a, a Mortal Kombat character in Smash? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, Nintendo just ports plants versus... You just want Nintendo to port plants versus zombies. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's done talking. How's there. everything going? Uh, terrible. Next up... Animal Crossing New Horizons. Yes! Yes! Let me see this game. Let me see this game. So we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Let me see this game. Let me see this. I'm gonna play this game when I play too much Smash Bros. It will make me feel good. Hello there, Nintendo Direct viewers. I'm Tom Nuke. You've no doubt heard about the deserted island getaway package my company, Nuke Incorporated, will offer. Hmm. Well, I've prepared a fun little promotional video just for you. It's called... Welcome to Island Life. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. I'm legit gonna play this game when y'all just stress me out. <laughs> I'm just gonna play. Choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid-back, relaxing oh time in a haven of nature away. No, I wanna watch. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. You're gonna be watching me through that damn phone, ain't you? Installed with a variety of apps for all your No, they put a tracker in there, dude. Including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Wow. Let's start by crafting an axe. Oh my god. We're going to need some materials. Like branches. Oh my god. Yeah, just shake that tree. Oh and stones. God. Such an immersive then gaming we'll experience. resident services and use the workbench. I really like the music, to be honest. Nicely Whoa. done. Is, is, he, is he clapping or slapping his nipples? To acquire new materials like this, and with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. You shush Zelda, you freaking shush dude, oh my lord. Or outside. Yeah, Tom Nook you about to take my money. the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Damn. Here we sell tools and furniture. Damn. We also mm. buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you so many as off part these of our beats. island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. Nook you Miles? You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. The heck is You'll this? You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island. The little punch holes so things sure they put when you go to a restaurant a certain amount of times? You get one there free meal? There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. Wow. Catch some bugs. What the hell? Tend to flowers. Oh my god. And pick them to make a garland. Wow. I'm gonna look so pretty. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Weed? 
The marriage of Hucha? A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Oh nah, my stick gonna break. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Actually, I'll just go flying. I'm so skinny. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Mm. Depending wow. on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch <gasps> too. Was that a penguin? I don't know, fellas. <laughs> Whoa, I caught a pond smell. Whoever smelled really. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up mm. to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy Whoa. living together and working together in the nah, same Nah, they're going to steal my stuff. With a local wireless or internet connection, <gasps> up to eight people can play online. Island for a total oh, of boy. Eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? This game is going to relieve any stress I have from Smash Bros. How's deserted island life looking? <laughs> Who flops on a freaking chair like that? Just the beginning. Say, There's oop. so much more waiting to be discovered. Is that Donkey Kong? So the... many activities. No, I know it wasn't. Animals to encounter and more. This is like an acid trip the talking the to all these animals. We can't wait for you to experience Like look how open the their eyes are. You're going to tell me they're not on something. Getaway package. Oh, you're disgusting, Kenny. What is wrong with you? March 20th. Wait, doesn't Fire... Uh, not Fire. Doesn't Final Fantasy VII come out of March? So, how'd it look? Cool. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. Oh, boy. All right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Is it? Is it The Legend of Zelda Clink's... Uh, I mean, uh, Breath of the Wild 2? <gasps> Wait, it is! No. Is it? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Damn it! I thought it was for a second. It scared me. Man, I got excited. What is this? That's not it. I got it. I got it. Wow, it's Xenoblade, isn't it? Damn! Do you wish to change it? We got. We all got bamboozled. Freaking shulk with the no future. pants on, dude. What the heck? Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Sakurai, save me! I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Brothers. You said, Where was Luigi's Mansion? You missed it. You legit missed it about if you weren't here earlier. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Here we go, because it comes out today. Woohoo! You may feel like some time has passed since our hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. <laughs> Sakurai, you're too funny. Take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself using two controllers, like this. 
With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Okay. Today I have my controllers set up side by side. But back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically. Listen, like Sakurai, this. let's just get to Banjo, dude. This with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this. I I got bamboozled and I thought they were showing Breath of the Wild too. I was about to. I was about to spaz. Two characters acting as one. We've right, been finesse chat. Started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? A game. Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64. A game, and it was man. First That's what it is. On Nintendo 64, back in 1998, the character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. You said piranha plants in the and background. Then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Wow. What are they gonna make a new Banjo and Kazooie game? Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. Mm -hmm. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo and Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. No. <laughs> yeah, I already played Banjo Kazooie. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a game. country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay. Let's take a look at the fight. Man, I'm really going to have to freaking stream smash today to play Banjo. Ah, screw you, Sakurai. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. Oh my god, the music gives me PTSD. I can't do it. So the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, listen, the track name's not even in the top left corner right now. And there's nothing there, to be completely honest with you. Their neutral attack is called Claw Swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Okay. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. Mm -hmm. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Ew, freaking Gruntilda in the back, dude. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means Bird Bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Their back air is an air rat attack rap, which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. This music, I hate it. I hate it so the much. The up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is finding all those stupid freaking honeycombs and everything. 
Alright. Like this song's called First, Mumbo's Mountain. There you fighting. go. Because the song shows it's up for one second and then it disappears. Move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Oh, the Regal stupid Blaster. eggs. Ugh. Oh, God. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo-Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto-fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. You said you hate Banjo so much. Oh, I do. That damn game messed me up. That stupid mold bottles. I don't like you either. Ugh. Oh, this game irks my nerves. Ugh. I just can't with Banjo. Like, you don't understand how many headaches I got off playing that. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option, and since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special. This one's called Versus Klungo. This move utilizes the shot the song. pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the shock spring. You said it. getting it bored, recover, freaking Banjo Kazooie, she's giving me a headache again. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. A grenade this is a egg? Odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. A grenade. They they just didn't want to do the egg that comes out of his freaking behind like they do in the actual game. They said we'll put a grenade instead. Yeah, it makes sense. Banjo just has a grenade. That wasn't in the game. The one at least I played. For keeping opponents in check, it's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. What the heck? Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. Okay. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Wow. Lastly, their final smash. Oh, let's see this final smash. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will wow. send your opponents flying. New stage, Spiral Mountain. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan. Oh, I can't stand the this game's music. Called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. Wow. Oh, I'm not a rotation icon will appear. And what? The stage will spin. The heck? This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. What? It's truly unique. The... Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also. And you be... gotta fight while the stage is turning around. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Yeah, the witch in the background, freaking Gruntilda. Like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. This is weird, dude. 
Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Let's see them in action! This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Oh wow. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. And <laughs> Zelda's so over there, there just like, ugh. two on my side too, so I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. This man Sakurai probably better than me at this damn game. Check. Your eggs, you said which motion can be fired sickness or backward are useful at times like this. Wait, wait, really? Thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Oh, that oh, that's just no weird. With items on. The way that turns is weird, dude. Yeah, this man Sakurai definitely better than me. So far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Hmm. I remember when I thought I was good at Smash Bros. Huh. What was that wrong? Ooh. Ouch. Oh, the final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. Now. And. Nice. Listen, this is scripted. This fight is all scripted. You said you don't know about the rotating stage? Now yeah, that's enough. Unless opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, Look at this good. man. He's better than me. And final smash. I forced him out, so I win. Scripted. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. And that is a yikes, Kenny. That is a big yikes. That is terrible. Jeez. Oh, rest in peace to him, man. Nobody should have to go through that. That's I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. No, please no. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. You said who's laughing so loud? Laughing? You talking about Gruntilda? That was Gruntilda Next laughing. Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. Hmm. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the details. Oh god, it's even his freaking side. sister. You could probably make an action game just using this. Oh Jesus. She's raising havoc on the vegetable path for some reason. What the heck? And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. Screw so Banjo Kazooie, they're all damn sad game. souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. I can't stand it. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But yeah, if you weren't here before, this is what they look like. Close one up. thing you should know is it's basically um, a dragonfly, right? Let's go. Put a lot of into there's the guest there's well, gonna be more Smash DLC fighters after this whole pack. So and they announced, I forgot his name, what was his name, like Frank or something that I, they announced for Smash? He's the next DLC character, I think. Next, let's talk music. 
Gobi's Valley. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking custom song music and adapting it for use yeah. in battle. And they had some release dates for games and stuff. Ten music tracks. Ten tracks, okay. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, it's it's Terry. I said Frank. <laughs> I don't remember that dude's name. Five ninety nine is a fantastic deal. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I already bought the whole damn pack. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Wow. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Wow. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Oh, a new update for Smash. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there were also Nerf Hero. That's what I'm about to see, right? We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I bet you are. <laughs> and to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. What is it? What is it, dude? And here it is. You need oh. to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. Didn't they have this on like other ones? Not with this, but this bat. And off it goes. But I feel like I've seen something like this. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. Oh yeah, this was in the game before. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. This time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I hope you play this with your he, ne he didn't even let us see the distance, he just stopped it. That was so awkward. <laughs> okay. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize their special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Whoa. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created Is he using the, the Nintendo launch? Lobo, that freaking cardboard box that failed? After the update, so I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please Whoa. take a look. What's the new costumes? Mii Fighters! Extra Mii Fighter costumes. Round numero trace. What? What game is this? I ain't never heard of that game. Oh, Lobo Labo. Listen, I don't even remember. I'm surprised I was that close to getting that thing right. That thing failed. That thing big failed. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't have more Mega Man stuff, huh? Before. Oh boy, you could dress up as a Pokemon trainer. All right, Team Rocket, that's funny. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay. Really? Undertale? 
That would make you think that maybe they'll do an Undertale character. Maybe an Undertale character will be in Smash one day, who knows? I mean, a whole new DLC pack is gonna come out. So we'll see. Cause they're trying to make- they're trying to make this game last for a long time. Who said, cool, what, uh, no, no. <laughs> Our memes have come true, they did it, boys, oh my lord. A 75 cents, cents for each? Nah, I'm good. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. <laughs> Toby has actually visited my house and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. Wow. He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Uh, what? Is that a Squirtle amiibo? Wow. Ivysaur. Look at them. Look at them. They're sold out as we speak. And Snake. Two Pokemon and then a and Snake. They will each be available on September 20th. That comes out the day Legend of Zelda Clink's Awakening the comes out. Update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Later today, Banjo and Kazooie. Oh -ho! Terry! Oh my God! As mentioned in Nintendo Direct. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Wait, you're actually gonna show me some footage? Oh, wow. Okay. Is that it? Finally. He it punched somebody. Be working on even oh! more DLC fighters. See additional to DLC me, fighters now in development. Like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Two years. But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity. Nintendo's keeping Sakurai there, like, listen, you ain't leaving this game. Another time, DLC pack. I Get the lasso. So he ain't Smash going anywhere. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game world that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye, Sakurai! They're not, they're not letting you out that damn sweatshop, huh? Alright, well, there you go. Oop, there it is. Well... There you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Banjo and Kazooie comes out today. I don't know what the heck I'm going to be doing. Also, Legend of Zelda Clink's Awakening, if you look at the top of your screen, comes out in 15 days. That's two weeks and one day. If we hit the donation goal, I will get the Clink outfit along with the game. 
So there you go. Okay. Wonderful, dude. Wonderful. You said I was here the whole time? This dude, relax. I haven't seen you in a while. You said want to stream Smash, but we we'll wait for the update? I'm going to go cry in a corner because I'm going to have to stream Smash Bros. today because Banjo came out. So I'll be doing that. I'm going to go cry now, chat. But yeah, that was in the Nintendo Direct. Luigi's Mansion looked cool. Dragon Quest, yes. Um, Mario and Sonic and Olympic Games. Legend of Zelda Clint's Awakening. Um, what else was there uh, that I liked? Animal Crossing. You said sorry you had to go for a bit. It's all good. It just finished now. The whole thing just finished now, but yeah. Um, you said they just confirmed Sans, but yeah. You said, oh yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, I forgot about that too. If I, if I didn't mention that already, yeah. I don't think I did. Pokemon Sword and Shield. You could make curry in that game now, but yeah, that's everything. The Nintendo Direct is now finished, guys. But um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Let me hit this outro, dude. But yeah, appreciate y'all watching. I told you I wasn't going to be late. I was here early. Ten minutes early, dude. Ten minutes early. We got you baited and, think, and thought that they were going to show freaking Breath of the Wild too. Nope. They definitely didn't. Freaking Xenoblade, dude. I was like, what? Wow. What a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal experience. But yeah. I'll see y'all in the next one, dudes. Be safe.